And hi, everybody. Great to have you with us on the latest edition of Forbes Sports Money. Bob Lorenz with you, joined as always by my co-host Michael Ozanian of Forbes Magazine, bringing us the newest sports money valuations. These are on ice, as we know, the <laughs> NHL team valuations. What's the big story, in your opinion? The big story is profits have gotten fat for the league, Bob. We're talking about the three years since the new collective bargaining agreement was signed. The average operating income for the NHL has been $15 million. Compare that to the three years preceding the new CBA when it was only $6.5 million. All right, so that sounds like good news. The average team value right now, $517 million. But when we look at the numbers, only an increase of 4%. Why is that? Bifurcation. You like that word? I, I, I just learned it. You know, there's a big gap in the league in terms of how profitable and valuable the teams are. If you look at the Rangers, Canadians, and the Maple Leafs, the three most valuable teams, their operating profits make up almost half of the entire league. So you still have teams like Florida and Carolina really suffering big losses. All right, so haves and have-nots. We've talked about that in hockey before. How does that affect revenue sharing? Well, the high-revenue teams, Rangers, Maple Leafs, Bruins, Canadians, they're kicking in about $200 million, which is helping to a certain degree, certain markets. Uh, but overall, if you look at it, you still have several teams still losing money, which probably explains a little bit why the new expansion team in Las Vegas went for $500 million. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that because that number seems kind of right in the middle. But they're trying to expand as opposed to we've always talked about either contract or maybe move some of those teams. I think there's big disagreement. You know, Commissioner Bettman has this vision of the NHL being totally national. Uh, but there are a lot of people think, and I'm probably one of them, that you are probably be better off putting a team, let's say, in Quebec than you would be in having another team in hot weather. I guess bottom line, the optic is never good, right, if you have to move a team or transfer a team? That's absolutely right. Although, you know, you look at the last Atlanta franchise that moved, went to Winnipeg, that team's doing pretty good overall, even though it's a smaller arena, certainly a lot better than it was doing in Atlanta. All right, so final thought on the team values as they relate to the Canadian teams. Any takeaway from them? If you go back, like, say, four years ago, the Canadian dollar and U.S. dollar were parity. One dollar of one was a dollar of the other. And that's very important in the NHL because the Canadian teams collect their money in Canadian dollars, but all players are paid in U.S. dollars. Now, one Canadian dollar only gets you about 75 cents. Every Canadian team on our list went down a little bit in value, and that's a big reason why. 